12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to take one of the hardest flamenco forms and see if we can combine it with something you may already know. You may have heard of the flamenco form called the bulerias, or what uh, some people can call bularius. Bularius. It's one of those flamenco forms where we have 12 beats, and there's a lot of flamenco forms that have that 12 beat structure, but what makes bularias so hard is that it's fast, syncopated, and there's usually some pretty advanced movements going on within that. But in this lesson, if you don't know how to play this rhythm yet, I want to give you a really great way to strum and count this rhythm, which you, you need if you ever want to approach this form ever, and also learn what a 12 bar blues is, if you don't know that yet, and also do some improvisation with our blues scale. Let's start out with getting the basic rhythm here of bulerias. We're going to be using a golpe, which is tapping the guitar with our ring finger, and going down with the index for now, and we'll go up with the index in a second. And really, that's all that we're going to be doing in the right hand. And then, of course, the left hand is always another story. For now, though, just mute the string so that we get this dead and dry strum like this. That's just going to help us concentrate on the rhythm in the right hand and not have to worry about the left hand yet. So this form is 12 beats. You may already know that, but we're going to start counting on the 12 instead of the 1, which is kind of weird. There's other ways to do it, but that's how we're going to do it today. And there's going to be an accent on the 12, on the 3, and on the 6, the 8, and the 10. So we're going to try to go 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10. You can say all those other numbers, like 11. 11 is a little tougher because there's more syllables than, um, than we would want, right? But that would sound like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're back to the beginning. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, then we're back. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's plug that into our gold face, just the accents going like this. Count all the numbers though, but we're just going to tap every time we have one of those accents. So we're going to say 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. When we end, we're going to actually end on the 10, but we'll see that in a little bit. Now strum down with your index every time we have a number, okay? That means that we're going to have to play, when there's an accent, a golpe and an index finger downstroke at the same time. We can get away from doing that in a little bit, which is actually more advanced, but, but easier in a, in a weird way. But for now, so you might need to work on that, you know, doing this. Not easy. We want them to be absolutely simultaneous, but our count will now sound like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I keep ending on the 12 because that's the beginning of the next pass, but like I said, we're usually going to end on the 10. Okay, now add up strokes. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. As you get going, as you get more comfortable with it, this is the kind of thing you should just be snapping your fingers to in the shower. Now let's just not say the numbers that are not accented. So we can just say this. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. 12, 3, 6, 8, 10. Now that might sound familiar to you. That is a hemiola rhythm. Another way to count this, but we're not going to count it this way, um, but actually it might be a little more easy to process if you counted it this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. And that is a hemiola rhythm. We have alternating 6, 8, and 3, 4 time. And that's what this is based on, but the way that we're going to count it in flamenco is counting to 12, starting on 12. So you might need to work on that for a while, but let's take a detour and talk about a 12-bar blues. So 12-bar blues, you've probably maybe heard that phrase before. Bar just means measure as opposed to B-A-R-R-E, which is a bar chord. Um, but we're also going to be doing that. Um, it's a 1-4-5 progression. So if we were in the key of A major, we would have A as our 1 chord, A major. Then D is our 4 chord, and then E is the 5. We're going to make all of these dominant 7th chords. There's our A7 as a full bar. But for D7, let's do this D9. Easier to play and it sounds more uh, jazzy. But the chord we actually use in flamenco anyway, sometimes. And then for E7, we're going to play E9. So pretty easy chords. Of course, some people have a tough time flopping their finger backwards. We wouldn't want to do this in so many other cases, right? But here we just relax your finger backwards and we're getting the fifth fret here, fourth fret, and then five, five, five. Like that, you can even grab this in the bass, but that starts to make our chord a little more ambiguous, so try to keep the root here on the fifth string. So we have our one chord, the four, the five, and back to the one. 
So 12 bar blues is 12 measure blues and we're gonna add that Bularius rhythm to this and it's gonna be pretty fun to do. We gotta make some modifications though. But this is what a 12 bar blues would sound like in four four time. Four measures of the one chord. One, two, three, four, one. I'm swinging it. We're not gonna do that in a minute. Two, three, four, two measures of the four chord. One, two, three, and we're back to the one, two, three, for two bars. Now the end here we have the five chord, one measure, the four chord, and back to here. And then the final measure will be uh, the five chord, or we could walk up to it. You've heard that your whole life, I'm sure. That's the turnaround that gets us to want to come back to A, right? So that is our 12 bar blues. So what is this gonna sound like if we add our Bularius rhythm to that? We have a hugely long measure now, 12 beats instead of four, but that's gonna sound like this. Got another measure to go. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 6, 8, 10, and we're back. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we're back to the beginning. So that is a 12 bar blues, but because we're playing such a long measure, I think we're gonna have to chop it in half and do a six bar blues, but it's gonna make total sense. Back to our Bularius rhythm here, Bularius. Now we were going like this all the way through, trying to hit those accents, but you don't always have to do all of those strokes. So every now and then you could maybe don't do an upstroke. That might sound like something like this. I'm definitely hitting the accents on a downstroke with that tap there, but you also could do this. Check this out. Right there, we can solve the problem of the difficulty of going down with your index and doing a golpe tap at the same time. You could go, now that's very syncopated sounding now, right? This is why Bularius is so hard to process uh, for most people, and myself included. So once you get comfortable with it, you gotta go back to the beginning and really just dial that in and do it a billion times. And then you can start to play with it. Once you know where those accents are, there's a lot more leeway than you think in terms of how often we have to play and do those strokes. Okay, we're gonna take our 12 bar blues and make it a six bar blues, but the same format applies. But we're also gonna see if we can add some notes from the scale that we would use over this minor pentatonic. We also have the blue note. That is this flat five right there. There's a lot you can do with blues, like this, for example, when you go to D7, um, or any of the chords, like just using that as an example, you can play the arpeggio and mess around with flat threes over that. That's opening up too much of a can of worms there. We're just gonna keep it in this little box here. But check this out. I'm just gonna stay on the A chord. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2. You can improvise all day long there. I'm doing little double stops or these I'll play single notes in a minute, but uh, you have a gigantic measure there. If you can keep that rhythm in your head, this is gonna be your gateway to playing like a real Bularias down the road, right? You can really have a lot of fun doing this, I think. So let me do that again. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's see what all of this would sound like, just the chords doing the six bar blues with our rhythm, and then I'll do it again and add some of those improvisation notes, and that is your assignment. Can you combine these two things together on your own, add a couple of notes, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, you could just go. As long as you keep that beat in your head, count it out loud, tap your foot if you can. And by the way, tapping your foot, here we might tap on just the accents, 12, three, six, eight, 10. And once you get that groove going, I mean, it takes a long time, I admit that, 
but you can kind of feel it and not have to count it so much. But for now, uh, the more you count it, the better, even though that's the intellectual side, we want to be uh, on the visceral eventually side where we can just feel it. Um, easier said than done. I think we got to start out counting it though, just so we know that we're doing it right. Now we're going to do a six bar blue. So everything gets cut in half. So instead of four measures of A, we're only going to have two. Instead of two measures of the four chord, only going to have one. Then we go back to the one chord, one measure, and then everything else is going to get split in half. Okay, so instead of going on the five chord here, E, instead of going 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? We're gonna have to chop it in half. So on the six, move to the next chord. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's my turn around. Or you could go like this. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or say longer, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can kind of chop that up the way that you want to, as long as you're back here on the 10. The 10 is a good ending spot, like I said. And uh, let's see what this sounds like. A six bar bluesarius. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and we are out of the woods. That is just a brief little getting our feet wet with this really awesome flamenco form and doing something that I think everybody should be doing all the time, which is combining things together that shouldn't go together or that we thought should never go together. And that's when we can have the most fun and be creative in our practice. And if you have some questions, not quite sure what's happening with that hemiola rhythm and what that 12 count thing is, check out this video where I walk through what a hemiola rhythm is.